Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, the first Sunday at Thorpe Park Mardi Gras. We're back already. We only had a vlog a few days ago, but I thought we'd come back just to check out the new Mardi Gras event, which I have been counting down the days for for so long now. I'm so looking forward to checking out Mardi Gras once again. You can see we're back at the Thorpe Park Resort. And yeah, I'm just gonna be covering everything that you can expect to see here at the event if you do decide to visit. It looks really strong event. I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Of course, we've got the parade, which they haven't done in a long time, Thorpe Park. It looks interesting to see what they've done with it. Um, online, it looks all right. Not too, not, not too sure what to expect yet. Um, uh, but yeah, the sun is blaring today. I'm looking forward to capturing a few different shots, showing you some of the shows that they've got on offer, all the different times you can expect to see some of the shows, and yeah, just capturing the overall feel of Mardi Gras here at Thorpe Park Resort. But without further ado, let's head into the park. I want to leave a like on the video, and yeah, let's head into Thorpe Park, the first Sunday at the Mardi Gras here at the park. Let's go. Oh, what a great first little entrance there. Really good, really nice just to build up that atmosphere. Don't normally get that, but it's quite nice having that. Um, yeah, just walk across the bridge now. We've got all the bunting up for Mardi Gras. Looks brilliant. I believe they had them all up already. But I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, here we go. We're going to head to the park. I think we're going to start on Swarm, then we're going to head over to Mardi Gras when the rest of the event starts. But yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. Well, I just made it through the dome construction wise here at the park then. A lot has taken place since we last came. Of course, the slide was there before uh, and the trampoline how, and that de uh, spinny thing, I believe it is. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've got the new play area now, uh, this trim trail type of thing and this swing, which looks all together really brilliant. Hopefully it should be open for the May half term. I think that's what they've set out to do. But I think we're one of the first down heading to Swarm. But yeah, it looks brilliant. I hope they, you know, finish it all off, put a nice finish on it. It looks, it, I think it'll really add to the area. Uh, and just obviously for those families that do come here, it'll be really nice just for them to be able to experience it. But I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I wanna head over to do the Swarm quickly before it opens and then we'll head over to Mardi Gras and check out what the entire event has to offer. I'm really looking forward to today. It's gonna to be a brilliant day. Sun is shining, 23 degrees, really hot. I need to put sun cream on as well. Here we go, Mardi Gras 2022, let's go. Well, Swarm was closed, uh, it was testing, but obviously it doesn't want to open just yet. So we're walking over to Nemesis Inferno, I believe. Walking through Mardi Gras area though. Looks brilliant, all the bunting up. Of course, you've got the Mardi Gras tree just here, but they've transformed the area completely. It looks amazing. Of course, you've got the main stage just here behind Destinator. A great opportunity there. You see Destinator going up Nemesis in the background whilst the show's going on. But it looks brilliant. All the truss up. And here we go. Take a look at some of the show times just here. So we've got Crowning of the Crew. We've got 15 minute show. I believe we're going to see that one. And I'd like to see the parade later. Um, but obviously, I'll update you on the times later throughout the day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to today. It's going to be good. Looks like they had trust there, but obviously nothing on that. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, Nemesis Inferno. Advertised closed, how I don't think it is. Uh, so yeah, we're heading there. This always seems to happen. We always seem to try and go to school, but it ends up being closed. Head over to Nemesis Inferno, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Nemesis Inferno is still a good ride. I'd just rather have gone on Swarm first. Anyway, we'll go on Nemesis, and I'll head over to Swarm in a bit. Let's go. That's strange, I was just thinking, why have they got the trailers sign out? A bit unusual, um, out of Friday nights for Mardi Gras, a bit strange that they've got that out. Um, got two back-to-back -back rides and Nemesis there, which was brilliant, really did enjoy that. Shout out to the staff team on there, let's go around again, uh, which was brilliant. Literally jumped, went, got front row, jumped off, went straight back to the back row, which was brilliant as well. Really quiet today, Nemesis is on a zero minute wait. Swarm's just opened, but heading over to Saw and Colossus. Colossus is advertised 10 uh, and Saw's 15. Normally they over advertise them, so my hair's got a bit funny. We're gonna check them out, head over, do Saw first probably. Saw's always better in the morning, that's a bit of advice I give to you, head to Saw first. Um, but normally we do it anyway, so we'll head up here past Black Mirror um, and head round to Saw and Colossus. Yeah, as I say, always check the queues before you actually join them. Just, you know, head around the corner of them and check them out just before anyone else. And don't judge it off the app because it's just better because, you know, sometimes they over-advertise them, sometimes they don't update them straight away. 
and yeah, you never know what you're going to expect. So yeah, definitely check that out. Colossus has got a great viewing point over the bridge as you're walking past the ride. Just that you can look down in the queue line. If it's not in that extension area, you know it's going to be about 20, 30 minute wait, which is not too bad. You know, head around to the saw, a bit tricky to see saw's queue line, but as I say, head around through the entrance and go to the right and judge it from that. Um, but yeah, we'll head around to saw the ride, do Colossus as well, and yeah, enjoying the day so far here at Thorpe Park. <laughs> Fifteen minutes advertised for source still. Normally those cue boards are quite reliable. It's just the app that I give a bit of advice on, but it's not always correct. So definitely just make sure come over to the ride. Don't always judge it. It looks about 15-20 minutes from what I can see through the queue line, so yeah, not too bad. Still some of the effects not working on saw, which is a shame. I'll show you when we get off the ride. But yeah, I'll try and insert some off-ride shots. Looking forward to getting back on saw the ride here at Thorpe Park. <laughs> times they do overestimate them and so you know do come and check them because this one is literally how it was last week where it was literally queuing up to the food stand so no queue at all yeah colossus looking forward to getting back on it saw was really smooth one of the smoothest rides had not in a while but yeah colossus running two trains today which is why we've joined the queue it says half an hour but it's yeah, not that going to be that long i'm looking forward to getting back on it towards the back, back of the queue, queue line. or just joining half an hour your box for waiting time is 25 25 minutes, minutes so they've changed it from half an hour so, yeah not too bad for colossus don't mind waiting that um but yeah samurai is also on a 10 minute queue might do that i don't think we will but i want to check out the mardi gras entertainment uh soon i think it starts at 12 so we'll go and check that out as well but yeah here's some off-ride shots of colossus sit back and i'll enjoy the ride while you enjoy some off-ride shots This is Mardi Gras North or South, one of the two. We're going to check out the show in about half an hour, looking at the watch now. About 25 minutes till 12, which is when the first show's going. The trade is at one. Yeah, some of the prices for you, I'll take you over. There you go, some hands for shrimp. There you go, so not too bad. I'm not well everyone, I'm back home now. Just wanted to give you a quick update. You cannot use 20% off Merlin Annual Pass discount for these food stalls. I forgot to mention that in the vlog. And also, if you're interested to see what the Autumn Towers event is like, leave a subscription below and also turn on notifications so you do not miss that because we're heading in a few weeks' time. So stay tuned as well and I'll give you all the updates on Autumn Towers food and all their events going on. But I won't keep it for too much longer. Sit back, enjoy the rest of the vlog. And yeah, I'll see you later. I'm not sure if you can use Merlin and your pass discount for these. I will let you know because we are going to get something, but I'm not too sure what we're going to get just yet. But I think it's such a nice area. I think they chose this area pretty much because of how Angry Birds is situated. It's so colourful, this area, and it really goes with the Mardi Gras theme. And what I'd love to see, they've got all the buntings up under the windows. What I'd love to see them do in the future is re-theme Angry Birds Land and have it sort of this, this celebration area where they hold all their events. I think that'd be a really nice, really nice thing to replace Angry Birds Land. But we'll take you around. There's more food stalls around there. And I'll take you around and show you some more of the food. Peckish then has had some uh, some new menu. I'll walk around here up the ramp. You've got some new items on the menu. You've got blackened chicken, chicken jacket, £6.95. I believe these ones you probably can use Merlin Land Park discount because it is a Merlin uh, shop rather than one of its pop-up ones. But here's some of the dessert chicken there. Cupcakes, uh, cake slice, uh, fruit pops as well. The cake slices just here. Yeah, really nice overall. Um, I'm not obviously these probably won't stay. These food items they're just here for the moment. But yeah, just heading over here then. We've got some more of the uh, food stalls, the pop-up ones up here. Um, I believe this is. I don't know. There's either Mardi Gras North or Mardi Gras South. I'm not too sure which one's which. But I'll head over there, show you what's on offer. I think there's more on offer at Thorpe Alton Towers though. Um, there's still some nice food options available, let's go. There we go, Louisiana loaded fries, New Orleans burger bar, mac and cheese, and some of the things available. 
four year old. But yeah, not too bad. So obviously they brought these ones in. You get some food over here. That's nice though. Not too bad. Yeah, these ones you probably can't use Merlin discount on, unfortunately, but yeah, it's still nice. But you know what? Keeping it Mardi Gras style, we thought we'd go to Burger King because oh, the prices were quite expensive for the other foods. I don't, I don't say don't, don't get it, but I'm done. <coughs> you can get it if you want, I'm just saying it's quite expensive. And also, you don't get Merlin discounts, so we thought we'd stick with that. Right next to the Mardi Gras stage here, I'll probably go out and film a few bits. So I think we just stand here at the table and yeah, we can get some nice shots of Mardi Gras. Just, we've just um, watched the event show and well I didn't want to record it all because in my opinion that was honestly one of the worst shows I've ever seen a Merlin Park put on. I'm sorry I don't want to speak ill of the parks but that was really bad. The mic quality, the speaker quality, it just wasn't there. It wasn't a good, wasn't a good show. I mean I can understand that the costumes were great and the, the, I, I, I just think it wasn't right for the event. They, they had so much potential with it and it kind of just wasn't there. I mean they could have they could have done an amazing show on that stage but I just don't think they, they did it correctly but you know what that's just my opinion maybe it was just a bad show. But I was standing with um, uh, Marcus from Thrill Riders and Dan from Digital Dan um, and yeah we, we all agreed compared to Austin Towers that was that was shocking but yeah we're gonna head on to Swarm now it's open I mean, I'm looking forward to getting it it's advertised 20 but it's literally just as you go in and cross the bridge which is fine yeah here we go Swarm so um, Swarm is having a bit of downtime at the minute so I don't know when that's going to be back up. I think we're just going to wait here until you know it comes back up. I don't think it'll be too long we've waited before. And it's never been too long of a wait. The sun's in your eyes there. I'll block it out with my head. Um, I just wanted to sit down whilst we're waiting and just talk a bit about the show. So you know, I briefly went over. It wasn't that good. I mean, the costumes were great. Don't get me wrong. The costumes were brilliant. I thought they were great. Some of the music choices, yeah, it was all right. The choreography, mm, it was a bit, mm, yeah. A little bit. I just think overall, Thought Park had some great potential with that show, and they could have done something amazing. The area looks fantastic, but I just think the stage looks a bit bland. I mean, the centerpiece was great, but just overall, it was a little bit of a disappointment. I think compared to Alton last year, um, and I obviously we'll be checking out Alton in a few weeks. I would like to check out Chesington as well, but I think this event really definitely deserves to be at Alton and not at Thorpe Park. I think Thorpe Park should have came along and did their own event like Park Vibes um, because that was sort of their thing. But as I say, Mardi Gras, I think it should stay, but I think it should be worked on here at Thorpe Park. Just depends on what they do in the future. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on the show. I don't normally like to spill it, speak ill of the parks. Um, I think it's great that they're trying to put something together and they've tried to do something, but it just wasn't right. Um, so hopefully they can rework it, maybe if they bring it back next year and it'll be a lot better. But yeah, we're just going to sit here, wait for the swarm and I'll give you an update when we're heading on. then just had a front row ride on the right hand side of Swarm. That's honestly one of the best experiences in the UK. 
brilliant, absolutely yes. brilliant. So smooth, super intense. Do recommend queuing up. We only had about five rides more, which was totally worth it. They get the trains out really quickly on Swarm as well. I don't mind waiting that long. Yeah, great ride on there. I think we can just head around, check out the parade, which starts it's really soon, actually. Um, and yeah, we'll just go see how that's running. And then we can compare it to Mardi Gras next week at Alton Tower. But yeah, great run on the Swarm. I head over, capture some footage of the atmosphere here at Mardi Gras. And yeah, let's see if it improves after that um, unfortunate show for Mardi Gras. But yeah, we'll head over and check out some more of the event. I know they've been here a while, but I do love the additions for the 10 year anniversary of the swarm really nice just adds to that whole area itself would love to see some of the props that they use for fright nights as well just going up on the side but yeah overall it's scattered across the area really nice here we go then here's a look at the mardi gras parade perfect time we just popped down from the swarm just over there hoping to see it and here we go looking forward to seeing this i think alton towers is, is doing a better job with their parade but still nice to see thought parts one just to capture it really nice hello loving the costumes though for this event hello Brilliant, what a nice little parade. No, it's quite nice that they're doing that. Funny like that. I know, maybe next year they could introduce a few more floats and a few more characters, but nice start for the first year of Mardi Gras. Brilliant. I think we're going to have us a stealth. Great ride on stealth there. Just wanted to quickly show you before we head out of the park some of the Mardi Gras merchandise. Some of this looks brilliant. Not too keen on the mugs if I want to see you. Um, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, all right, to be fair. Mugs, £10. I wouldn't mind if the mugs had a bit of um, 3D texture. I love when they do that with the, the mugs and that. Um, yeah, not too bad t-shirt, quite on the design. What I really love the look of though, is this Mardi Gras lanyard, that looks lovely. Love the colours on that, and the pin badge, quite a small pin badge if I'm being honest with you. Not too bad though, pin badge five pounds, five pounds for the pin badge, wow that's quite pricey. I think they've upped their prices for the uh, pin badges and that lanyard though, probably best item out of all of them. Um, clothing, oh here you go, 22 pounds for the for the t-shirt, I think it might be for the different sizes it goes up. Um, or well, maybe not, maybe they're all £22, but yeah, overall, not too much merchandise for the event. Quite nice though, overall. So then, bit of change of scenery. I'm back home now, back in the studio. Um, had a great day at Thought Park Mardi Gras, it was absolutely brilliant. Since the last spoken to you, obviously we had the ride on Stealth, and also I showed you around the Mardi Gras shop. Uh, in the main dome shop as well, not the mega store, which but there's still probably the same merchandise there. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you that merchandise. Really nice things on offer. Um, as I said, the lanyard was really nice, along with a few other bits as well. But overall, a great sort of little selection of um, merchandise on offer. But yeah, great day at Thought Park Mardi Gras. I'm going to do a full-on dedicated review to the event coming up in a video very soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. I'm currently piecing together the video as we speak. Um, but yeah, really, really good day. I mean, absolutely brilliant. Few things that I changed about the event, definitely. But seeing as it's its first year at the park, I'm not going to give it too much hate yet. I do think it's got room for improvement, and it's a very, very strong event, and it's it's got a lot of possibilities, especially at Thorpe Park. But yeah, thanks for tuning in to today's Mardi Gras vlog at Thorpe Park Resort for the 2022 season, their first year of doing Mardi Gras. Thanks so much if you made it this far in the video. Been great sharing my experience today. Remember to leave a subscription down below, subscribe. I've just said that twice. Leave a like and turn the notifications so you don't miss another video from Theme Parks Direct. That's all from me today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon everyone. Goodbye.